my wife who took the photograph and who said, I think this could be a very nice moment uh, for, for Instagram. And uh, I'm, I, I'm very pleased with how it all appeared. We had originally seen it as a script early on in the process, um, but we signed on as executive producers after we saw the rough cut. Uh, I just, I don't know, it just struck me. I, you know, I, I was reading a lot about it and I remember uh, just thinking, wow, I want to get involved in this. Like, and it's a wonderful film to see because it's done in a different style from the 1990s and it's very fast. Hello China. I love Beijing. Well, I'm here to celebrate with all of the LGBTQ community. From rock and roll country, uh, all popular music is derived from the African-American slave experience in the south, south of the U.S. And you have like three million Instagram followers. How does the remarks from your fans really influence the direction of your career? Um, it's amazing to be able to have that connection with them and, and see sort of what it is that they respond to. And it definitely influences me and inspires me in many ways. Yeah, I mean, I love those older musicals, but I also really wanted to find a way to, to make them feel new again and kind of bring sort of smash that kind of filmmaking into today's uh, environment and, and a more realistic, nuanced, everyday, modern look at, at life. How is that like on set? Seamless. Like, I'm, I'm not going to tell Denzel, so, you know, welcome to share anything. <laughs> <laughs> See, whatever I say, he's, he's going to find out yeah, anyway. Yeah, he's going to know. If you can't win in the world, if you can't win in the world, you will feel very sad. That's basically every lady's dream, that finding like a husband who can support you. That's really great. What kind of film production would you like to see in the future uh, Hollywood? Because, you know, uh, everyone is trying to change, evolve the whitewashed Hollywood. We men should have made a good image in women. We can't just look at women like this, so we're afraid. What are your some do's and don'ts on surviving the zombie? <laughs> Don't get too close. <laughs> and smash the hell out of them. <laughs> and I actually cried when I got here today. I, m I miss it. So it's been, it's such a nice night where people get honored for all the hard work they do and I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, and I think that's sort of Personally, the mistake is, um, you know, I love the 59 version. So Here in Chicago, I'm very excited to see the movie The Crow, which is my, my first, very first English language film. My role is to get other roles, to keep, to keep working in the media, to keep working as an actor, and, and to keep trying to present honest and accurate characters with disabilities on film and television. Even. The majority of Americans want strong environmental laws. The majority of Americans believe women should be paid the same as men. The majority of Americans, uh, uh, you know, don't want it, another war. This is, you don't, how much, you don't have time. Uh, we blocked off the Bay Bridge to make a political statement. Uh, in some other countries, I'd get. So Teen Wolf, we're in our fifth season. Thank you so much again for watching. Um, we're really excited. We just started shooting again in Los Angeles. Chicago Fire has been an amazing experience. I think it's important for journalists to be brave and to follow your heart and carry the torch of journalists throughout the world because we are all together as journalists.